Welcome everyone to Abandoned and Alone, a Mythos Busters production. My name is Ian. In this video series, I take a solo investigator through a campaign. Currently, we are taking, well, I am taking, because <laughs> I am truly abandoned and alone. Uh, I am taking Joan Diamond through Return to Dunwich Legacy. So, excuse me, so far in Joe's adventures... Um, he had a little trip to the Clover Club, which ended quite well. Um, he found Dr. Morgan, who he was looking for. Then he took a little jaunt over to the university. And uh, although he didn't find uh, Professor Rice that he was looking for, he did uh, manage to save a dorm full of students, which was nice. However, his trip to the museum was not as uh, fruitful, not as successful where uh, I just face-planted into that scenario, and my bad luck with the return version of Miskatonic Museum continued. The good news is um, that Joe did not take any trauma. Uh, oh, this window is uh, resizing on me. Um, he did not take any trauma. I just had to abandon ship and resign because uh, there was no way to... Uh, to win and uh, i think what felt worse about that is you dunwich is pretty stingy with experience as longtime players will know um and miskatonic museum is actually one scenario in dunwich where you can kind of rack up xp and i got a big fat goose egg zero experience for miskatonic museum <laughs> so i'm not sure what that's going to mean for the long-term power and success of my deck in this campaign um, I would have gotten one or two, I believe, but I had a case that went unsolved, which took away from my experience. So yeah, big fat zero for Miskatonic. So, uh, my discussion of my upgrades will be very short. There aren't any, <laughs> there's no upgrades, same exact deck as last time. Um, cause I had no experience to spend, unfortunately. So wah, wah, wah. Uh, but the show must go on and now we are on a train and you know, this is another scenario that I've had some bad luck with the return version for some reason. And the original vanilla solo um, Essex experience, I never really remember having too much experience. Like, I had a few losses here and there. Um, but usually it's more multiplayer that would give problems. But uh, the return version, the few times I've played it, uh, of Essex County Express, has given me some problems so hopefully it goes better than miskatonic and hopefully i can uh, exercise those demons but we'll see it's uh as we'll see some of the return changes make it a little more, more difficult for the solo experience so let's go ahead and switch on over to our gameplay uh which you should see now and yeah i have not yet drawn up my opening hand Let's go ahead and shuffle it up. Uh, I have my hunch deck over here. Pretty much the same as it has been. Scene of the crime, emergency aid, preposterous sketches, working a hunch, and uh, no stone unturned. It's off the top of my head, but yeah, that, that should be what's in there. And uh, now we are going to draw. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a weapon. Um, which I got because there is usually a fair bit of fighting in this scenario. Uh, we don't need that weakness there. Um, okay. So we got a gun. We got the folding camera, which is nice. Um, so those are both good. I do like Vicious Blow because I think I remember there being some three health or at least some odd health enemies take the initiative is always nice um and shortcut this is actually a decent hand but i think i'm gonna throw back a few although take the initiative is good i'm fine seeing it later in the scenario one thing to keep in mind is that uh if it's been a while since you played this is a scenario where certain locations you have to discard cards from a hand um to kind of match icons so do i keep the shortcut it's nice for fast movement 
Shortcut is actually really good for this scenario sometimes, so I'm kind of tempted to keep it, so maybe throw the Vicious Blow and roll with 45 Hawkeye and a Shortcut and draw two. Okay, let's do it. Um, okay, we got our strange solution. Acidic Ichor. Oof. That's potentially even better than the gun, because uh, it's much cheaper. Although, um, only three supplies versus bullets. Uh, the nice thing is we got our ally. So, yeah, I see, I see a little bit of a way forward, so... That's good. Good opening hand, which means I'm probably in for the encounter deck demolishing me. <laughs> what is the other strange solution? It is a second cap copy of the acidic Ikor. Um, I hit the lottery with uh, with getting both of those. Which I, I don't know about you, but I'm still confused about the exact dynamics of how you pick randomly. Um, how I do it is shuffling uh, both copies of all of the, uh, the solutions and drawing two from those. Um, okay, so that's what we have. And we are starting in the sleeping car, which has four shroud and this is the uh, <laughs> the funny action that you can spend to gain three, three resources and remember you've stolen a passenger's luggage. And going on up to our active agenda so we know what we're facing. We're on agenda 0A, uh, which is new to the return uh, versions. So that has two Doom Threshold on it. And uh, basically it's a long initial first act. We just need to get to the engine car pass through six train cars make it to the engine car and then we can advance and try to get out easier said than done um yeah uh i'm just catching up on on chat here Yeah, people just kind of saying what they think the uh, how you pick the strange solution that you pick one out of four and then one out of four again. Um, yeah, heroic logic. Only three charges for Icar being been spoiled by the stones. Yeah, sometimes I forget and think there's four on there. Um, okay, so I think we need some kind of weapon out. So I'm going to put down the strange solution. Uh, oh, don't forget the hutch deck. That's why I have this neutral one here. So it'd be really nice with this four shroud to get a scene of the crime or a working the hutch. So let's hope for one of those. Let's see. It is emergency aid. Nope. Okay. Uh, not this time, <laughs> but hopefully we'll get it. So, okay, where was I? I was getting out my Acidic Igor, which uh, we don't have a good slot for. I'll put it in my tarot slot, because I don't think I have any tarots. Um, I don't know why the Tabletop Simulator gives four supplies for this when it's three. I guess the scripting is a little bit off on that. That's okay. Um... Uh, so what do I do here? Do I try to get out? I really want the folding camera out, but on the other hand, right now I'm a 4v4, so I need some intellect help. So I think I gotta get out, spend 4 for Lexley, and then I'm gonna have to get out the camera lately, later. But I can't spend too much time messing around, so... Uh, I might just take a, a shot at getting this clue at 1-up, but before I do that, I always like to check the special tokens, um, because any tokens that punish you for failing is something you want to pay attention to um, when you're just kind of taking these low probability shots at, at a test. Uh, minus, the, so the skull is minus zero right now, so that's good, and the only other bad stuff token is the cultist, which is minus one 
if you fail and it's your turn, lose all remaining actions. Uh, which even if I failed, which I won it at minus one, it's my last action anyway. So yeah, pretty good odds actually. Let's just let's just try it at five v four. Uh, nope, that's a big no <laughs> from the chaos bag, making its presence known right away. Um, okay, so we're gonna shuffle this our hunch deck back. End of the turn, no enemies on the board. We're going to gain a card and a resource. Vicious Blow. Uh, we're going to gain a Doom. We're going to make sure our encounter deck is nice and shuffled. And then we're going to draw. Claws of Steam. Test Will 3. Joe doesn't like Will. If you fail, take 2 damage and you cannot move. Oof. And I have to assign it first to my... At <laughs> okay, so basically Lexley is dead then <laughs> if I don't pass this. Well, that sucks. Um, if you fail, take two damage. You cannot move. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets. Ugh. That would be quite the tempo hit to lose four resources worth. I don't want to commit the camera and shortcut though, which are my will icons, because if I lose Luxley, I need some kind of intellect boost. So do I commit the shortcut even though I don't want to and try to pass this? I think I have to. Ah, yeah, this is rough. Especially if if I don't pass this and not being able to move. Um, I'm distracting myself with the chat because I don't want to make this decision. Uh, but is saying, um, glad I'm not the only one that rolls on the solutions. Feel like the other options are not worse enough to make me want to pay double XP. If that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense that... I think it's a like we all talk about how the other strange solutions are not as good, which is true. Um, but if it's a investigator why I really need the acidic ichor, then yeah, I'll pay the full XP. But if it's more of a thing of like uh, that you're fine rolling the dice because you just want some kind of powerful effect and you don't care which it is, then I think it's fine to roll for it. Um, like in Joe, I don't think he needed needed the acidic or it definitely nice to have. But uh, okay, <sighs> I don't want to get rid of the folding camera, but I really need to pass this test because if I lose Luxley, not only am I losing the intellect icon, but then I'm also not able to move from the location this round, and that could get really nasty with what I know is coming down the pike. All right, I'm checking both to go 4v3. This is where that low will of Joe hurts. Ooh, plus one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't need to pitch anything. I would have passed, but yeah, hey, better safe than sorry. Um, okay, we really need to get a move on. Um, first, let's see what our hunch deck has. Show me working a hunch. Hey! Okay, working hunch. So we're going to immediately play that for zero fast and grab a clue. And then we're going to move. Uh, should I draw first just so I have some kind of icon? Okay, let's draw first. Uh, logical reasoning, sure. Okay, now let's move. Oh boy. Okay, passenger car. After you enter passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two total will icons or take two horror. <laughs> well, look at that. Aren't I glad that I drew? Um, this is a case where the decision is clear. I can either discard two will worth of logical reasoning or take two horror, which 
logical reasoning heals two horror. <laughs> I mean, not exactly the same because I could put one on Luxley, but hey, I'm discarding the two from logical. Cool. Uh, what's not as cool is that this thing has. Uh, oh, sorry. That's. <laughs> I was like, why does this have four clues? It's because I have this set up for two players. I've been playing a lot of two player, two handed lately. So let's. Whew, that gave me a heart attack having four clues on there. <laughs> okay. There's only two clues on there, thankfully, with two shroud. Okay, so let's spend our last action investigating at 5v2. Skull is minus zero still. So we get one of the two clues we need. Ah, and I didn't mention it, but in case you haven't played in a while, you can only move to the next uh, train car. Uh, if you've discovered all the clues on the location before it. Okay, so that's it. It's no enemies in play. We're going to get our resource and our card, which is Delay the Inevitable. And now our agenda is going to advance. Take it back to zero. What do we got? Enemy. Spawn. Leftmost location. Yeah. Now you see why, <laughs> having played Return Version before, I was pretty dead set on not on wanting to pass that clause of steam, because uh, that would have been amazingly bad. I would have been stuck here, which means this guy would have been right there right away. Um, three, four, three, two damage, one health. Now he is massive, so technically. I could um, move away from him and take the opportunity attack and he wouldn't follow. Uh, but still. Anyway, he has Hunter, so he's going to keep following. So this is the guy who really makes the return version tougher and solo. You really got to be even faster and get away before he can hunt. Um, uh, Important things, when he's defeated, you attach to the current agenda, and after the agenda advances, you draw him. So you can defeat him temporarily, but he comes back. Uh, and when his location leaves play, instead of discarding, he moves to the right. So basically, you can't get rid of this guy. Um, okay, let's draw an encounter card, which is need for knowledge. If you have no clues against Surge, I do have clues. Otherwise, test intellect X, where X equals the number of clues you have, which is two. For each point you fail by, you must either take one horror or place one of your clues on your location. So right now, with Alyssa's boost, I mean, Alice, sorry, not Alyssa, um, I'm testing five versus two, which I think I'm okay with. I don't have any intellect icons either, so I have to be okay with it. Test. Skull is minus one now. Just double checking. Yep, agenda one now. Uh, and this has an agenda uh, threshold of two as well. A doom threshold, sorry. So we do pass. Hunch deck, what do we got? Unsolved case. Okay. Um... Place one of your clues on the location with the highest shroud. Which right now would be this one. I think that's okay. It's just you cannot enter train car unless all of the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. So that would actually be okay to place one of my clues there. Um... The question is how, because if I spend an action to play that, the question is how sure am I that I'm going to pick up this clue? Because action to play, action to get a clue and move, which is fine to get out before this hunter moves. The problem is, the problem really becomes if I fail that uh, investigate test, then yeah, so let's just do the investigate test first so I know what I'm dealing with here. So 5v2, 
which is a pass, and I can move an inside of it from discard pile to the bottom of my hunch deck, uh, which I will do. So I get my working in the hunch back into circulation, which is good. Um, and the clue. The thing is, pace is important, like... This is two fear experience. Do I just eat it? Eat the two fear experience, but then that would basically be another scenario with no experience gain. <sighs> um, okay, I guess I just have to resolve it now. So I'm going to spend two thanks to the discount. Um, we're going to remove unsolved case from the game. We're going to place a clue on the lowest, the highest shroud. That's what it is, right? Highest shroud. Um, uh, yep. But that doesn't stop me from moving. Okay. think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. Yeah, Bertaz mentioning that I played Logical Reasoning for free earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's how it felt with being able to use those to pay the cost. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move. I don't have many cards in hand, but we might just take this on the face, whatever it is. Okay, parlor car. Uh, cannot be investigated. Spend three resources. Discover one clue. Mmm, victory point. Well, unfortunately, I just spent two of my resources. Ooh, so that's going to be a bit tough. Okay. Oh, I'm really hoping I get a working a hunch or... Um, seen the crime next turn then otherwise I, th I might be tangling with this conductor scene so enemy phase the conductor is going to move we are now going to draw a card gain a resource one other luxly doom encounter card oh okay Okay, so we got a Grappling Horror, 3 Fight, 2 Evade, 3 Health. While you're engaged with Grappling Horror, you cannot move. Uh, okay, first, before anything, let's see what the Hunch deck has in store for us. Scene of the Crime, cool. So I think I see a path here. I Scene of the Crime first action to get that clue. Um, because it says you cannot investigate, if you look at the wording here. Um, but seeing the crime is you discover a clue automatically, you're not investigating, so that gets around. So do that. Second action, I fight. If I hit, then I deal three damage, which kills it. Third action, I move. Okay. First action, scene of the crime for free. Get a clue. Second action, fight. Using up one of my three supplies from Strange Solution. That says I fight with a base skill of six, six V three. Uh, oh, and I can actually trigger this. I discovered a clue, so I deal one damage to this guy. Which shouldn't really matter. But you never know. I um, think I'm going to go three up on this. Oh! Of course. Of course. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I could have... Um, committed the combat icon on Delay the Inevitable. But what I was thinking is... In case things went terribly wrong, that I wanted that around to potentially soak damage. But, yeah. Okay, I, I'm just going to use another supply, unfortunately. To, uh, three up again. <laughs> oh my gosh. A tentacle. 
Oh boy, I think this is where it all goes downhill for me. Oof. That was rough. That was a rough turn. That went from being free and clear, I could have moved to the next location with one enemy dead and the hunter still on my tail. And now we went to basically... Pain Town. Ugh. Man. It's not it's not the end of the game, but oof, that's it. that and even worse, that's two supplies from Strange Solution for nothing to show for it. So the hunter's gonna move. Um he's actually massive, so he's not gonna go in my threat area technically. That's two damage and one horror. We'll throw a damage and a horror on Alice and another damage on me. This guy hits me for a damage and a horror. And, uh, yeah, Joe's in pain town already. Okay. That and that. So a resource, up to two resources. Warning shot. Huh, that would be nice if I had a gun out, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fortunately, that's not going to help me now. Um, okay. So we go to 2 Doom, that means the agenda is going to advance, the skulls keep getting tougher. Uh, remove the leftmost location from the game. Just this one. Just put it down here, uh, not in my hand, put it down there somewhere. Um, and each investigator location is defeated, each enemy is discarded, discard all clues controlled by investigators. Let's go away. Uh, three Doom Threshold on Agenda 2. We're on Agenda 2 now. Am I right? Yes. Okay, draw an um, uh, encounter card. Idle Hands, put it into play in your threat area. If Idle Hands is in your threat area, during your turn, take two damage and discard Idle Hands, and I can take an additional action. If not, at the end of my turn, I have to take one Horror. I don't really want to take damage, but you know, I, given how things have played out, I might be uh, looking to take that additional action. So, <laughs> surrounded by enemies, so for some reason Joe's hand is getting a little grabby now. <laughs> okay, let's see what our hunch deck has in store. No stone unturned. Not going to have time to play that. Uh, okay. We're going to need to get rid of this grappling horror one way or another, so... I am going to commit the warning shot because it's not doing me good right now to go 7-3 to three this time. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Finally got rid of that stupid thing. I'm out of strange solutions, uh, unfortunately. Minus one. I do have a gun, but... Yeah, so originally my plan was just to move and use Delay the Inevitable to soak up the Opportunity Attack. Uh, Alice should be ready. Uh, the only thing now is I'm thinking I might need my gun. And if I spend two for Delay the Inevitable then I'm going to be far away from being able to use it. I think I'm just... It's too damaged, though. Man, this is a tough one. Let's see, two damage, that takes me to four, and I'm going to have to take this, that takes me to six. I mean, I am, I'm dying here. Or I do delay the inevitable, which would soak all the damage from the opportunity attack. The problem is that I wouldn't have any money for a gun, and then we don't know what this next location is, but if I'm not able to move quickly, then this guy hunts, 
And I'm stuck with a four health enemy with no gun. Oof. I think I take the opportunity attack. With the idea if that I do get stuck, the conductor is going to hunt and hit me again anyway. So I can play Delay the Inevitable at that point. Yeah, so I'm going to move with my second action. Take two damage and one horror. Ooh, boy. I don't think this is looking good, guys. I'm at f half my health already. Okay, a lot's going to depend on what's here. Oh, three clues. Baggage car cannot be investigated. Choose and discard as an action. Choose and discard a card from your hand. Discover one clue in the baggage car. Oof. That is brutal. That's a brutal combo there. I mean, three actions at minimum to get out of here. <sighs> Boy, can I resign off the train? See, the problem here is do I get set up to try to fight this thing? Um... Four health. <clears throat> I can do two with vicious blow and then two regular punches at one up each. <sighs> wow. Um, or do I start discarding cards trying to free myself up to keep moving if I trigger idle hands I'm gonna be up to six damage which means I have to play delay the inevitable anyway yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to even get the 45 out so maybe I just discard a card to get a clue. It's hard for me to see a way out on this one. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of the things that's tough about Joe's stats in my opinion is uh, well, low will is one thing, but with low agility, makes it really hard to get out of situations like these. Or do I just take, because my horror is not that filled up yet. Do I just take the horror and not trigger this yet? Um, since... The grasping horror, I mean, the conductor does not do as much horror as it does damage. I think that's probably the play. And then we're going to play Delay the Inevitable to soak some of this. Uh, so the conductor is going to move in and hit me. Delay the Inevitable is going to soak that, thankfully. Get a card and a resource. Oh, there's the other strange solution. Hmm. Okay, shuffle my hunch deck. Uh, I think I, I forgot to reset the doom, yeah? I don't think I should be that. So this is one doom out of three. Okay, let's see what we get. Acolyte, sure. Um, 
think at this point we're just going to have to throw him here and get him thrown off the train uh, and just eat the doom and the agenda is going to advance next term. I don't really have time to deal with his nonsense right now. <laughs> okay, so first let's do the hunch deck. Which is working a hunch. Cool. Um... It cannot be investigated, but again, working in the hunch can grab a clue. So I'll play that right away. So just one more clue. So I, I see a potential way out of this. The problem is I've just taken so much damage and horror so far <laughs> that even if I make it out of the situation... Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to survive to the end of it. Yeah, Heroic Logic is saying uh, they're stressing out just watching this. <laughs> I'm stressing out playing it. Okay. I think the only real play here is to play down the strange solution, take the opportunity attack... And then hit the thing with a vicious blow and try to take it out with one attack. Now that's going to take me up to 6 damage, which means I can only clear this out by killing Alice. And then at that point I'm still, even though I'm alive, I'm 1 damage away from dying and any of these train cars could potentially hit me with that. Oof. But the alternative is to try to hit once... Um, oh, I discovered a clue so I can trigger that. I forgot. So, because um, this thing is elite, but Alice doesn't care, care about elite, right? Yeah, it's any enemy. So I don't need the vicious blow unless I just want to boost. So I could potentially hit with a vicious blow, which takes it to... Uh, that takes it to one damage away from death, but that's a 5v3, and then my next hit is 4v3. It's possible I could do it without an opportunity attack. But it's, it's low probability at this point. The skulls are minus two. Yeah, as much as I don't want to, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So play the Strange Solution. Just move this one over here for now. We're taking Horror and 2 damage. Uh, and at this point, we're hitting 6v3 on the thing. And although I should probably boost given my luck, I don't think I'm going to because I might need these icons to save my life in the next train car. So let's just see what happens. This thing doesn't have retaliate, right? Hunter and massive. <sighs> okay. Minus one. Okay, this thing is toast. If you defeat attached to the current agenda, which after you advance, which is going to happen this turn, it's just going to pop right back out. <laughs> so, yeah, sad times. Um, okay, so discard a card. Oh boy, what do we even discard? Now, I don't remember if one train car or two fall off at this point. Because that would make a bit, that makes a big difference. If it's two, then that means this thing is going to pop right back on me and I'm basically toast. <sighs> I think, given, even if it does pop back on me, at least I have this. I think I need more cards in hand. I need more options. So let's draw a card. Okay. And then we're going to have to trigger this. Uh, 
Uh, so Alyssa goes, Alice, I keep calling her Alyssa, <laughs> goes bye bye. And we're at 7 out of 8 damage and 4 out of 6 horror. Yeesh. Um, so I get an additional action, which I can use to... I'll get rid of the 45 since I have these guns and get the last clue I need. And that's going to end my turn. Take the initiative. Cool, wild icons are good. Oh boy, okay, so given the Acolyte being around, that's one Doom plus a two Doom, that's three Doom total. This is going to roll over in advance. Remove the leftmost location from the game. Okay, so it's just one train car, that's good. So this train car goes by, the Acolyte goes by, his enemies are discarded. Discard all clues controlled by investigators. That's fine. Um, and this guy is going to get drawn again. Leftmost location here. Okay. That's not all though. We got a Mythos card coming. Broken Rails. Each investigator at your location loses one action. Ugh. Don't need that. Each investigator at your location with four or more damage, that's me, must also discard an asset. Ha, huh, cool. I can discard this empty strange solution because it doesn't take up a slot. Um, yeah, it doesn't get discarded when you run out of supplies, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, yep, so that's legit. Okay, I did lose an action though. Hunch deck. Prep sketches. Okay, we just got to keep moving at this point. Let's move here. Passenger car. After you enter passenger car, you must either discard a card from your hand with at least one icon or take one one wild icon, sorry, or take one damage and one horror. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to do that or I'm dead. So either the Colt, 40, Colt 1911s or the take the initiative think I gotta get rid of take the initiative um, and at this point I think I kind of need to draw there is a clue on my location yeah I think I need to draw to get some options if I'm gonna survive this at all which is already a slim probability so I will play prep sketches for free to draw three cards well free in quotes it cost me an action okay that's a lot of wild icons that's good cool and uh even though henry is wild icons uh, i think i'm probably gonna play him next turn because i need some so badly okay this guy's gonna move hunter one location away from me so next turn, I'm pretty much going to have to play down Henry just in case things go awry, investigate, and try to get out of here. The question is whether I can survive until then. Two resources, drew another 45. <sighs> okay. One out of four doom. We're on agenda three, so are the skulls or threes? Mythos card is Haunting Recollections. Ooh, boy. If for each card in your hand, if there is a copy of that card in your discard pile, take one horror. If you take no horror from this effect, okay, this could be the end of the game depending on what I have in my discard pile. So we're looking for Vicious Blow. Uh, no Vicious Blows. We're looking for, that's a unique... Armitage is unique. Inquiring mine. There's no inquiring mines. Uh, Colts. No Colts. I'm just trying to be careful and make sure I'm doing this right. 45s. There is one 45. So we take one horror. Oh my gosh. So the good news is I did take horror. So 
it's not going to... Actually, I, I would have been fine discarding the top three cards in my deck, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. I am alive by the skin of my teeth, one damage away from death, one horror away from death. <laughs> and I have one more car and an engine car to get through. <laughs> How, how's your stress level doing out there, Herog Logic? Because <laughs> mine is through the roof. I don't even smoke. I'm going to need to smoke after this. Okay, hunch deck. No stone in turn. Okay, first we're going to play Henry Armitage. Just to give us some kind of breathing room here. Because we need it badly. And then we're going to move... Oh, we still got to investigate. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to investigate first. Just in case things go awry. So, 4v1. Skulls are minus 3. Okay, let's try it. Minus three, okay. So the reason I uh, took that back and redid the order is because I wanted to make sure I got the investigate done um, before I spent the action to play Armitage because if I failed that, then I wanted another spare action to investigate so I could get out of town before the conductor gets to me. Um, so now second action, I'll play Henry, and third action, we're going to move. Dining car! Oh joy. After you reveal dining car, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. Really? Really, game? You're gonna do that to me? <sighs> what the heck is the grappling horror? Is that one of those things that I already fought? This guy. Yeah, it is. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so I am going to survive that thanks to having Henry Armitage around. <sighs> uh, that is my turn. So the good news is there's no clues here. So I need to kill it quickly, get into the engine car. <sighs> okay, the enemy phase. This guy's going to move. It's almost caught up to me. The conductor's one location away. This guy is going to hit me for one damage and one whore. And uh, I am truly living on a prayer here. <laughs> uh, one resource, I got William Mallison. Uh, so he could pretend he's another good soak that I have enough for if I have time to play him is the question. But I do have charisma, so yeah. Okay, so two doom out of f four... And two doom out of four, and we need a mythos card, which is Resurgent Evils. Draw the top two cards of the encounter deck or place one doom on their current agenda. Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to take the doom in this situation. Uh, I am far enough ahead that the next that advance won't kill me. I think this is when the left two get removed. Um, that is going to make the skulls get worse, but the condition I'm in, if you see how much horror, damage and horror are on me, I can't, I don't want to risk two encounter cards right now, which could, there are treacheries in here that deal damage and horror, so yeah, we're not going to do that. So first off, hunch deck... Emergency aid. Whew. Now, is that better than Malison, though? That removes two damage. But Malison is two damage and two horror soak. Either way, I'm spending an action. Emergency aid is free. Malison costs one. I think that might be a case where Malison is better. But, uh... We got some business to take care of first. Spend my second supply from Strange Solutions to attack 6v3. 
We really need to hit this, so I think I'm going to throw the cult in to go four up. Cult in? Did I say cult? <laughs> Freudian slip? Lovecraftian slip? Throw the cult in to go four up. Woohoo! Dead. Grasping horror. We can trigger our Elder Sign to move an inside event from your discard pile to the bottom of your hunch deck. We'll probably throw in working a hunch. That's probably the best MVP card in the inside deck. In the hunch deck. Just make sure there's not another choice that's uh, better. Like log logical reasoning to heal horror could be good, actually. Uh, but maybe just the raw pace of working a hunch is more important at this point. Um, uh, that should go on the bottom of my hunch deck. Technically it doesn't matter. It's going to get shuffled anyway, but, you know. Rules are rules. Okay. So, I got a free line to the engine car. The problem is we don't know what's there. And uh, the problem is it's been a long time since I've gotten to the engine car. Because <laughs> as I mentioned, the return version of the scenario is giving me problems. So I don't remember what's there. I do remember there's one that draws like a, a, a amazing crap ton of encounter cards. There's probably one that draws an enemy, I think. So what's that what that's basically convincing me is that I need to spend my second action and my last resource to put Malice in into play. Uh, thanks to Charisma to get another soak out. So that in case there is something bad there, I can at least survive it for a turn. And then we're gonna move into the engine car. <sighs> There's a test there, isn't here? For a trauma. Well, I think I'm going to have a trauma, so f <laughs> whatever. I'll, I'll take it on the chin. That's fine. I need to get moving and try to survive this. Okay, I did enter the engine car, so we're going to advance. Uh, investigator reads the following. You must decide to test agility 3 or combat 3 to dodge the creature. Um... Yeah, if you fail the agility, it's a mental trauma. Combat 3. I'm better at combat anyway, and I'd rather suffer a physical with Joe. So I'm going to test combat 3 to attempt to uh, endure the creature's extreme heat. If I fail, the creature flies through me, and I'm going to suffer one physical trauma. So 4v3 currently... Do I throw in the vicious blow at this point? But there might be something I need to fight. Can't throw in inquiring mind because there's no clues. Do I throw in these Colt for 1911s? Knowing that I have a 45 uh, on them. I mean, I'm probably not even going to get to play these, are I? No. I mean, four resources, I have zero. Okay, so let's just, uh, sorry for the vertigo. Let's throw a combat icon from the detective's cult and to go 5v3. Cool, I passed it. So no physical trauma. That's nice. Um, so now we have to have no clues on the engine car to advance. But we have the pressing business of what's in the engine car. What's in the box? Let's find out. Uh, okay. Uh, Bertez mentioning this whole thing is Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Scott's saying keep vicious blow and throw guns. Yep. I can't afford them anyway. Okay, let's see what we get engine car this is not a new one uh, based on the icon this is an oldie after you reveal engine car search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror again <laughs> another grappling horror is this the same one uh, okay so two clues victory one man if i get seen of the crime if i survive first of all and i get seen of the crime 
Uh, then yeah, I immediately advance. That would be it, because there'd be an enemy here to get two clues. Okay, so grappling horror is that what it's called? Grappling horror. Yeah. Is there another one in the encounter deck? Because I'd prefer to just take one out of the encounter deck if possible. But I might have exhausted the train supply of grappling horrors. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't think there's another one in there. So we'll just get one from the discard pile. These things love me. They're just grappling me all day. They think this is the WWE. Discard grappling horror. Okay. Yep, that's going to engage with me. So that's the end of my turn. Enemy phase. This guy's going to move. Almost got me. This guy's going to deal one damage and one horror to our friend Malison. Now, if things get too crazy, I do have the option. I do have a clue that I could use Malison's ability to cancel an encounter card, potentially. The problem is then we make our life harder in having three clues to get off of the engine car. But uh, that is a panic button that I have. Um, in case, you know, it's something game ending. So that was another reason to play Malison and good thing I have them because again, I'd be, uh, in big trouble. Okay. So a resource and a card. We got another Malison. <laughs> He's popular. Shuffle this back into our hunch deck. Four of four doom. Remove each of the two leftmost locations from the game. Let's get our... Forget about our victory point there. Goes there. This train is getting rather short. Um, da da da. That's done. Location is... Each investigator at that location is defeated. Nope. Each enemy and asset at that location is discarded. Nope. Discard all clues. Oh, never mind. I forgot that that was going to discard my clue, so Malison's not an option. Okay, um, so agenda four. Our skulls are minus four now. Three doom. This encounter card is very important. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it enters play exhausted, thankfully. Um. The location to your right or no location. Okay, so Emergent Monstrosity enters into play exhausted. Okay. Everyone cross your fingers for a scene of the crime. Scene of the crime. Come on, show me scene of the crime. Show me scene of the crime. Show me scene of the crime. Ah, emergency aid. Did I shuffle you? I know. I'm pretty sure I shuffled. So we're going to have to do this the hard way, huh? So, first step, did the hunch deck. We're going to spend our last supply from Strange Solution to attack this guy six to three. <sighs> Do I use my last vicious blow to make sure I hit this? I mean, let's look at this realistically. If I don't win this turn, the emergent monstrosity is going to be hitting me. I mean, it's going to be engaged with me with five health. And even with a vicious blow, I'm doing what? I can't even kill it on one turn. That'd be two, three, four damage max. And I'd have the conductor. Yeah, that's just game over at this point. So I might as well commit the vicious blow. Okay. Sweet. I didn't need it, but okay. Now is where it gets interesting. We have two actions to play with. We're at 4v2. Um... So, we got some decisions to make here. Um, 
Yeah, Bertez, Grappling Horror, the true boss of this scenario. Uh, Scott saying, take the next turn slow, take attacks opportunity, get clues. I mean, yeah, maybe, but I really need to win this turn. I mean, I could potentially do something janky where I try to heal damage with emergency aid. And that would let me survive. But if I get swamped, there's basically no way out, right? Because at that point, yeah, this thing is dealing... Like, because I'm just thinking if I'm trying to take op attacks of opportunity. That's 2-2 two, two here and 2-1. Yeah, I'm just toast. I got to do this. So we're going to do this first one with Inquiring Mind at 7 versus 2. Just to be sure. Okay, plus one. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Chaos Pack, because you're going to give me the plus one on the one I committed Inquiring Mind to, and then the next one is going to be some bullshit negative four or something. Okay, so 4v2 is the best I can do for this last one. Come on, pray for me. Okay, let's, let's, let's think about this before I commit to this. I mean, I think I pretty much have to take this test, but... If I fail, this is going to come in and hit me for 2 and 1, which doesn't necessarily kill me. It kills my allies. I'm still alive for one more turn. But I'd pretty much be out of luck, not able to evade these, not able to take tax of opportunity. Um, if I played emergency aid, that would do what for me? That would give me... Two take me down to five but still one attack of opportunity that's for it yeah so yeah i just have to do this this test okay <sighs> here we go here we go deep breaths deep breaths deep breaths deep breaths deep breaths deep breaths 4v2 no fear says finally on no fear yeah! Elder Sign! I did it! <laughs> yes! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I freaking love this game. <laughs> uh, I forget. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to say after that. I have no idea how I pulled that out. I don't think I'll ever truly know how I managed to pull that out, but that is a win. This advances. And we go to R1. Oh my gosh. Well. Joe Diamond somehow managed to win. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. I, I really, I'm speechless now. I don't know. There were a lot of things that there's like, I think overall, actually, the deck um, had good moments and it went pretty well. It was just that one turn. It really, it, which happens in this game, it came down to that one turn where Joe whiffed on uh, the, the attacks on an earlier grappling horror with a negative four and then a tentacle. And it was there. It was that turn that turned everything. Uh, because that allowed the conductor to catch up to me um, and slowed me down. And I just started taking damage and horror from all sides. And I was hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Uh, but managed to turn it around. I'm going to say thanks to these al having charisma and these allies in the deck. Like without these, the crucial... Malison and Armitage at the end, like being able to play those out basically save my game. I'd be dead without them. So those soaks allow me to survive. And then the strange solutions. I mean being able to take out because I've had to face three grappling horrors. I keep saying grasping horror, grappling. Yeah, three with three healths. 
without having a, a a weapon that can deal three damage at a time if i was rolling with my 45 automatics i don't think i would have won this yeah i needed that i needed those strange solutions to to take those quickly with one action um i don't know maybe with a vicious blow here and there i could have taken one out so maybe i would have survive but i don't know yeah i think it's pretty much strange solution and the allies that really did it for me along with joe's good old hunch deck getting clues quickly oh man oh man yeah that second turn was was a killer for sure but that all being said, that is a victory. Joe Diamond makes it out, managed to avoid the trauma getting to the engine car. And that's it. His, up next is going to be Blood on the Altar. Um, hopefully next Thursday, next week, I'll be doing that. Um, last stream before Arkham Knights, get hype, uh, where Joe will be taking a, a nice stroll through the, the quaint town of Dunwich <laughs> for Blood on the Altar. Uh, until then... Uh, I am spent. <laughs> I'm going to need to recuperate from this game. Thank you so much all in chat. Thank you so much for uh, everyone in, who's watching for joining me. Thank you everyone who will be watching this on YouTube later. Um, this has been uh, quite the experience. So I'll see you next time on Abandoned and Alone.